Motorcycle helmets are very subjective. Just like many of you, I've got quite the collection. So why did I go out and buy the new Shark Squall 2? Stick around and find out. Let's talk about the why I needed a new helmet. So I had my Shark Spartan Moto Vlogging helmet for about four to five years. Great helmet. The reason why I use this for Moto Vlogging was obviously full face. I uh, had my GoPro installed here. I had my Cena comms unit installed on the side and it had enough ear space for the speakers to go into your ears and the microphone on the chin bar. It was an absolutely awesome Moto Vlogging helmet but four and a half years and yes, it's time to update your helmet. Recently, if you look back on the videos, I did a review of the Tenere 700 from City Coast Motorcycles. I actually came off that bike at slow speed. It was a tall bike, I was on a steep incline and uh, I went to put my foot down and I just didn't reach the ground, I fell off. And I landed helmet first and on my shoulder as well. So taking this big gouge out of the shell of the helmet clearly made this helmet no longer safe. So it's now just an ornament on my helmet rack. One day it'll find its way into the bin. As you can see, I do have quite a collection of helmets and they all have a purpose. And my favorite helmet is the Shuey Glamster, but it doesn't have enough room in the earpiece to put speakers in to be able to use a comm system in there. So, I went to Motorcycle Stuff, I visited Div, and I ordered the Shark Squall 2. So, let's take this out into the studio and dig in and have a closer look. All right, the Shark Squall 2. Now, why did I choose this helmet over everything else that's on the market at the moment? As I said, this is gonna be primarily my moto vlogging helmet. So I needed to be able to put a comms unit in it and I needed to have a nice space on the chin bar to be able to attach a GoPro as well. So as you can see on the chin bar, nice flat position here for a GoPro mount. I'll be able to put my Cena on the side of this and most importantly, in the ear cavities, there's enough room for a decent sized speaker to be able to put your speakers in without actually affecting your ears. Now that was the downside to my showy Glamstar, which I absolutely love, but I just can't get a comms unit into the ear without my ears being pressed up and, and being painful after a long ride. Obviously with many modern helmets, uh, you have the, the normal visor. This one is pin lock ready and comes with a pin lock as well, which is also really cool. But there has been a modified mechanism to be able to get the sun visor to come down in the new helmet. Now in the old helmet, there used to be a, a toggle switch up here that would bring the visor down and the visor up. But when you're out riding and you're trying to feel around the back of the helmet while you're riding, not the safest idea at all. So the new Shark Squall 2, has the mechanism here on the side of the helmet. So as you can see, simple, push it down, the visor comes down. Lift it up, the visor comes up. Really great mechanism, that way it's just on the side of your head rather on the back of your head, so it's easier to get to, it's safer, and it's actually more efficient as well. So that's another cool little thing. Again, like most modern helmets, all of the internals are removable and fully washable. In Australia, in summer, the stench in your helmet can get a bit nasty and a little bit rank. So you can just pull it all out, throw it in the washing machine, dry it, pop it back in, and Bob's your uncle. Now I chose white this time, just to be a little bit more visible on the road. My Harley Street Glide Special, being silvery gray that it is, is pretty invisible on the road when it comes to being in a, a gray, miserable day or a rainy day as well. I found that I just am not being seen on those days because of the color of the bike. Hence why I installed a whole kit of hog lights in the front of it and uh, check that video up here as well, the install of my hog lights, which are absolutely spot on. Uh, and I wanna do the rears as well to get it more lit up. But talking about lighting, this Shark Squall 2 has actually got LEDs built into it. So 
There's a charging port just in here under the skirt. There's a button here. And as you can see, there's two LEDs in the top of the helmet there. There's two in the chin bar as well. On the back, there is also two. And on the side of the helmet, you can actually see there is light coming through there as well for traffic coming side on. They can still see you really clearly. Now this isn't looking really bright when I'm sitting here with studio lights on me, but when it is dark, that's weird, that just went off as if I wanted it to go off. Anyway, let's deal with that. Um, so when it is dark, they are really visible, really obvious, and uh, I'm really excited by these. So this was an absolute no brainer for me. And sometimes when I'm riding at night, I'm actually gonna use this. Some of you are gonna say that it's super uncool doing this, but if that little bit of light on my helmet might save my life, uh, I think it's worth every bit of the uncool factor about it. Now also you press the button one more time and you do get it flashing as well. So maybe you're pulled up on the side of the road, maybe you're in foggy or dark conditions, pop it on flashing, it'll be even more clear as well. Just talking about the specs of it, there is a five year shark warranty on this. It is shark tooth ready for the shark specified comms unit, but as I said before, I'll be using my Cena on this helmet. And from a weight point of view, this helmet comes in at just over 1500 grams. So probably middle of the range. It's certainly not heavy, it's certainly not light, but good for what it is. So this one's retailing in Australia at just under $400. If you go on the Motorcycle Stuff website, they do have a black one there at the moment for $350 on special, just black, plain black. So check that out, check out Motorcycle Stuff. Now this isn't a sponsored video, I paid for this. Uh, I needed a new helmet and I wanted to pay for it. But I do recommend that you check out these helmets on motorcyclestuff.com.au and uh, see if there's anything that suits you guys as well. Well, that's about it, folks. That's my update on the Shark Squall 2. Once I've put a couple of thousand kilometers on the helmet, I'll give you an update on how I'm liking it. Uh, guys, thank you for watching another video of mine. Please consider hitting the like button. Uh, leave a comment below and tell me what you think about the Shark helmet. Have you owned any Shark helmets? Uh, is it something that's on your radar? Uh, also, subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Heaps of stuff coming up this year. And thank you for Filthy Leather for my cool chopper shirt. If you want to get your hands on one of these cool shirts, go to filthyleather.com.au, grab it. And uh, until next time, folks, throttle on, stay safe, and just stick around for my outro because I've got another friend of mine that I want you to follow.